Hi everybody, this is Leslie from Midlife and Nailing It. If you could please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm super excited today. I've been watching What's in Your Handbag videos for years now and I'm going to make my own. So I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, so I'm super excited because today I am going to talk to you about my handbag. What's in my handbag? This is a thing on YouTube. So um, I happen to very much like handbags and purses and bags. I have more than most people should. Marie Kondo would tell me to probably get rid of half of them, if not more. Uh, but I love them, so... They're kind of my weakness. First, I want to talk to you about where I get my handbags now. Um, this is a coach purse, and it's uh, a fairly big purse, as you can see. I like my bags to be bigger, so I can just shove everything in. Uh, that all started years and years ago when my uh, 15 and 17-year-old were babies, and I was looking at diaper bags, and I was like, nah, I can't do it. I mean... I just thought I was too cool for school, I guess, and I just got a bigger handbag. I'm like, I don't understand why I would do this. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I never conform to that. I'm a little bit of a nonconformist in a lot of areas. That is one of them. So, yeah, I uh, picked up this bag, and where I got it from is ThreadUp.com. Uh, I found out about ThreadUp.com a few years back. They are a secondhand store, so if you're into that kind of thing, great. They have all kinds of clothes and stuff. I, I don't, I've not bought any clothes or anything from them, but I found out that they sold name brand uh, handbags, and so yeah, they carry everybody, anybody and everybody that, uh, that does name brand handbags. So, I was very excited to learn this and then I also was so excited when I went on their site and I looked around and I saw that you could click on condition and I went ahead and searched for bags that either were new with tags or uh, like new. So the two highest uh, conditions that you could pick and I was a little skeptical but I was so surprised at the first handbag I got from them, the condition, and since then I've probably bought five or six handbags from them, and I have not been disappointed not one time. I will include a link to threadup.com uh, in my description box, and let's get to it. What is in my handbag? Okay, so I'm unzipping. Doo, 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 doo. So, yeah, I'll show you. Oh, I don't know if you can see in there, but I have a couple of pockets on the side here and one that is made for a cell phone. So, of course, my cell phone is in the pocket in my handbag. I have a pocket right next to it and um, I have a book that's got everybody's phone numbers in it. Young people, do this because... You never know what can happen in life. You really don't. And so if you're ever in a situation where you don't have access to your cell phone and you need to get a hold of people in your life that are your people, that will be to you in seconds, you really need to always carry something in your purse or your wallet that's got that information in it. So firm believer in this. Yes, I am. Okay. So, uh, of course, my... Super cool sunglasses. They're prescription. <laughs> so, yeah. Sunglasses. Those are a must. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm older, but I cannot see when the sun is very bright too well. So, this is a definite must in my bag. And then, I always have on hand some sort of notebook and pen um, in case I need to jot anything down while I'm out and about. Whatever, if I get a phone call, I need to take notes, I'm covered. So, yeah, so I've, this is all lipsticks, basically. Lipsticks and chapsticks. I, I think I said in a previous video, I love lipstick, love it. My favorite brand is Mary Kay. Uh, I think these are probably all Mary Kay, except for my one Merle Norman product that I have in here. I usually have all my lipsticks in my bag. 
Um, and then I've got a a chapstick from Grove Mitten Argon. It's pretty good. I like this stuff. Woohoo! Got it from Grove, which is where I get a lot of my cleaning supplies. And then my tablet is in here. And I always have on hand a book to read. Right now I'm reading Radium Girls. Um, I'm not too far into it. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I recommend it or not. I, prob I, I like it so far, but I need to read more before I actually give it the old Leslie approval. <laughs> um, I've heard good things about it, though. And then this has been in my purse since the early 90s, guys. It's a must-have. I love Altoids. They're my favorite mint and um yeah not to be i i went ahead and got the coach wristlet if i'm running to the store i can just do this and i'm out the door back in um, of course my license and cards and all that good stuff is in here um so yeah or if i'm going to like a concert or something like that i would just take this over my entire handbag and then no i've got stuff in here so then I have a side pocket, and I've got a few ibuprofens. When you're old, you need these. <laughs> you really do. You never know when it's like, oh my god, I, I need something to get through the rest of the day. So this is a must-have. And then I've got a little um, change purse where I put, like, all that least change that was in the bottom of my purse. Although my kids get into this. <laughs> Even though they're teenagers, they really still like change, guys. So, yeah, so I just keep that in there as well. And so those are the items that are in my purse and handbag and usually any handbag that I carry. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to get on the bandwagon. I've been watching the what's in my purse. I have no idea, by the way, why that's fascinating to me. I also enjoy the organization of cars. <laughs> Really like those videos too so you'll probably when the weather gets a little better uh, where I'm at we've, we're snowing right now it's coming down uh, quite hard so uh, when the weather gets better you'll probably see one of those as well so yeah that's what's in my handbag I hope you enjoyed goodbye